Speedrunners are at it again. Carl Jobs has uploaded a follow-up to his previous video on a streamer named Queen Pones a lot who had allegedly faked a blindfolded speedrun against a monster hunter dragon for a little bit of that juicy clout. Now, Queen Pones a lot was a little bit upset by this accusation and said, hang about, wait a minute, I'm legit. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put another blindfold on. I did it totally legitimately the first time, even though people pointed out things like micro adjustments that she'd make with her camera and a lot of things that just did not seem to line up with a blindfolded speedrun. If you truly could not see, you would not do these things. So she followed up with another speedrun. She used another blindfold. She put a, a piece of paper in front of her monitor, I guess, and did it again. Now we're watching the follow-up, which I'm happy to see that Carl Jobs hit a million subscribers. In the last videos, I was really hoping that he would. It's fantastic news. He makes a lot of videos about speedrunners, the people that lie, fraudulent people, and just a lot of really interesting topics. So please encourage you to go ahead and have a look, but we're going to get into this legends. update. Last month, the streamer known as Queen Pones a lot pretended to beat the dragon Alatreon wearing a blindfold. This garnered her quite a lot of attention, but when people experienced with the game she was playing and those experienced in blindfold speedrunning saw her video, they realized immediately it was fake. Un because this is a pretty big one. The blindfold was kind of see-through. Fortunately, Queen Pwnzalot's effort of faking a blindfolded run was extremely poor. Not only was she using strategies that are just flat out impossible to use while blind, but the blindfold she was using was- Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, you can't see because my big stupid face is in the way. Right there, you see it. You can kind of see, you can see the light shining through as if you were to pull a t-shirt over your head. I can't do it because I'm wearing a jumper right now, but. If you were to put a t-shirt over your head, you'd still get the light coming through. Through most t-shirts and through most thin fabrics, you can still see a lot of the light. It may be obscured, but it's not going to be so obscured to the point where a decent player of the game wouldn't be able to play at, at pretty much the same level as they would usually. It was so thin and obviously fake, even we, the viewers, could see straight through it. Soon enough, people were making videos calling out her fake run, and Queen Pwns a lot was beginning to get quite a lot of negative attention. As it turns out, the public doesn't appreciate liars. Saucy level 8 out of 10. And then there were all of these videos that would go over the ways that it looked like she was cheating. And it blew up, it blew up massively. It blew up in a way that I didn't think that speed run drama would usually, because it's not the most high stakes drama on the planet. It's not gonna change the world. It's not got a huge amount of really hurt victims. It's pretty entertaining to watch. And you just have to think about like, why would you try to lie about this in the first place? It's really just for a little bit of that tasty clout. You just wanna get people patting you on the back and saying that you're fantastic, knowing deep down that you didn't actually do it. You didn't actually, accomplish this achievement that people may think that you had. There are a lot of viewers of Queen Pones a lot that were totally backing her up. In fact, there was some in the comments section of the last video that I uploaded. I uploaded the video and there were a few, not a huge amount, but there were a few comments that were coming to her back saying, that, oh, she's just good at the game, et cetera, et cetera. And people who try to fake gaming accomplishments for clout. After receiving backlash, Queen Pwns a lot fought back, announcing that she was going to do another blindfolded run of the Dragon Alatreon, but this time with more proof. And she honestly, she made a trailer for it as well, which I think is kind of funny. Even if she did cheat at the end of the day, uploading a trailer that is epic, that has like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like, join me as I do it blindfolded for real, is kind of funny. I, I don't know. It's On the 14th really of February, she went live. And you can see down here, she has like the, the keyboard camera there. <laughs> There is a piece of paper with her logo over her monitor, which is also very funny. The camera is pointed in a direction towards monitors. I mean, I guess she could have another monitor to, to the right of the middle monitor that you see there. She could just have a, another monitor there. Um, but it looks like she has a blindfold on. A lot of people said that this could be a pre-recorded run. It could be pre-recorded footage. It could be a pre-recorded camera. Etc. Etc. But we'll get into the video and we'll see exactly what uh, Carl's managed to uncover and here. And she was stacked to the gills with ironclad anti-cheat measurements. This time she wore a genuine blindfold. She had a hand cam. She had input display. She had paper covering up her monitors. And she was live. Surely there was absolutely no way she could cheat. And surely there was no way this time. He said before he watched the rest of the 21 minutes in the video. With all of this in place, she did it again. She beat the dragon Alatreon in front of hundreds of people. She was so convincing that it seemed like everyone now believed she was legit. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altreon blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. Maybe we got it wrong. Maybe Queen Pwnzalot was just more gifted than everyone else. And 
I feel like this video wouldn't be made if that was not the case. She could really do <laughs> if that was the case. Folded that no one else could. Or maybe, just maybe, she just cheated again, and we don't know how. Honestly, when I first saw her new successful attempt, I didn't know how she did it. But I did know two things. One, her gameplay was impossible to do blind. And two, people always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. I was committed to finding out how this was done. I envisioned sophisticated cheating methods that would be impossible to detect. I figured that whatever Queen Ponzalot did must be pretty genius to fool everyone so easily. For okay. three days, I meticulously studied her video. I worked with oh. experts to clarify game mechanics. I spoke with programmers to see if we could replicate her run using advanced software. But Damn, we're doing some incredible research here. I was here. getting nowhere. And then, wow, after really? 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Ponzalot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted. And literally, the piece of paper is being lifted currently. The magician had exposed her secrets. I had the smoking gun, and within 20 minutes of seeing Queen Ponzalot do this one thing, we knew exactly how she did it, and we had the proof. As it turns out, I was on the wrong track the entire time. I thought the method she used must have been smart because no one detected it. Oh, or maybe it's so dumb that people would think that, oh, that's dumb, there's no way that someone would do it like that. I mean, there's a lot of ways that we could go here. Is it pre-recorded? That's that's kind of my guess. I mean, you can make a guess in the comments if you haven't seen the original video, which you should watch the original video before you watch my reaction, obviously. But if you haven't seen the original video, you can make your guesses in the comments. I'm thinking pre-recorded. That's my assumption here. But in the end, it turned out to be the simplest and dumbest method I could have imagined. In or maybe she just has like a monitor that she, I mean, she's wearing a blindfold. I feel like it'd be hard to see anything. It looks like a legitimate In blindfold, video, I don't know. I'm going to tell you exactly how Queen Ponzalot faked her most recent blindfolded takedown of the dragon Elatreon. And I guarantee that you'll be shocked at just how many things she did to try and fool you. I really okay. hope you enjoy. I feel like it might be easier at a certain point to just learn how to do a blindfolded. At what point does the cheating become more effort than le the legitimate playing? Legends, let's be honest. If you're watching my channel, it's because okay. you are a gigantic nerd. I'm a huge true, nerd. True, yes, Valis. You're a huge nerd. That's we just are. the way it is. And it's true. as nerds, there is nothing more important or fulfilling than having a really good gaming PC. It's so true. Which is why you should invest in a PC from today's sponsor, Starforge Systems. All Starforge right. makes things super easy, especially for people like me who don't know how or just don't want to build their own PC. They That's offer green. amazing pre-built PCs love that at all different price points. So if you go in with a certain budget, you know you're going to get the best you can for your money. The Voyager 2, goodness Star me! Starforge PCs are used by tons of your favorite creators, including myself. They are built by hand in Austin, Texas by- Wait, wait, this is so funny. This is, this is sponsored by the same company that is owned by Asmongold. Experienced builders, they look beautiful, and they run smoothly. Plus, they are reliable, coming with a full two-year parts and labor warranty. I rely on my PC for absolutely everything, including this YouTube channel. My standards are extremely high. I need something I can powerful, and I need something quiet. And need something good to expose the cheaters. You can't be doing that on lesser hardware. See, I got from Starforge Systems was literally everything I could have asked for. Please get yourself a PC you deserve. The link to Starforge Systems will be in the description. Go and check out their PCs today. Go and check out their PCs. In Links right there, StarForge.com. the Queen Ponzalot's earlier blindfolded runs, where she used a really thin, transparent sheet of material to cover her eyes and pretended that she couldn't see. In this case, it was so easy to debunk because everyone can just use their own eyes and see that her blindfold was fake. As it, that, that is an incredibly thin piece of fabric. You can even see as she's putting it over for her face, it's spread out, so it's thinner. And if you stretch it out, the more you spread it out, the more you stretch it out, the thinner it is. If it's layered on top of each other, then it becomes thicker and you can't see through it, obviously. But the way that is, I mean, it just looks like a normal shirt. It just looks like something you could probably see through that would be blurry, yes, but... Again, it, definitely something you can see through. As far as her gameplay was concerned, it's also really obvious that she can see as well. She claims to use the audio to know exactly where the monster is, but years of blindfolded competition tells us that this is impossible. I also highlighted that beyond knowing where the monster is, it's also impossible to detect whether you are looking up or down. So if you see a blindfolded player using their mouse to look up or down, you know they can see. In her latest attempt, we see all of those impossible gameplay mechanics in action 
information once again, and in some cases, it's even worse. She will access the menu in order to use items and mess up the camera, and then immediately and perfectly fix it. She yeah, yeah, making very small adjustments there. Like, if you go into a menu and say you hit the up button, you look up as you release the menu from the items, you don't know how far up you've looked. You don't know how much adjustment the downward that you need to be to center the camera once again. And regardless, I don't know if it really matters much if you center the camera in, in the vertical sense, because you can't see it anyway. Maybe for the viewer experience, but I don't think she's thinking about the viewer experience right now. Like, oh, I hope everyone can see it all right. The point is, can you beat it? The point is not like, oh, could we make sure they keep the monster in camera all the time? She even does this when the dragon is not making any sounds at all. So there is quite literally no audio cue, like in this example. Beyond the impossible vertical movement, we also see crazy head tracking in real time. That is just luck. Oh yeah, that is insane. She just completely followed that. Let's just run that back one more time. Movement. We also see Look at this. She's Crazy just head tracking completely in following it exactly on the horizontal time. plane. That is just laughable. I mean, just look at this gameplay. Keep in mind, if you close your eyes, there's no way you could keep something perfectly in the center of the screen, no matter how good you are at the game. Especially a game that sometimes does not give off audio cues, like Carl said that the Monster Hunter, or at least this monster, sometimes does not give off audio cues. The head's not gonna have sound coming off of it constantly so you can center the camera. Oh, look at that! Okay, that was really bad, come on! Come on now, that was perfectly centered! I understand there is a lock-on button in this game. Um, I haven't played it, so I'm learning a lot right now as I watch this video, but I understand there is a lock-on. Doesn't look like she's lo losing in a lock-on feature clip, here. She is rolling underneath the dragon, keeping the camera on its head perfectly as she does it. It's hilarious. And remember, looking up does nothing. It doesn't let her hit any higher, so there is literally no point in doing this other than to see the head, which makes no sense if you're blindfolded. All of this seems very confusing because she appears to be wearing a proper blindfold. And as I mentioned before, her monitors are even covered up with paper, meaning that she can't see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the keyboard cam pre-recorded with the gameplay? and then the face cam is recorded separately because you can't see her face in this. Oh my God. Oh my God. That, I wonder if that's it. The keyboard camera was recorded when the gameplay was recorded. There's a monitor to the right of this. So you can't be like, oh, she's got the monitors covered. There might be a monitor to the right of this where she's playing because you can't see her face. And then the blindfold is either streamed when she is live and she's just sitting there. She's literally just sitting there with her eyes closed. Oh my God, if that's it, I'm gonna lose my mind. And then the inputs are also recorded with the gameplay and the keyboard cam. It's only the face cam that is different because it's not visible in this. Oh, is that it? Hey them anyway. This led me to consider other ways she might be- Look at this, look at this, look at this. The, the camera, there's nothing about this face cam right here that is related to like the keyboard camera. You can't like see anything in the same time. She just has her, her hands down, right? Playing without seeing. One way would be some kind of aimbot. Aimbots are common in many games, so it's possible if she had some kind of sophisticated software, it could help her aim on the dragon. And she's trying to keep her hands like very close to the keyboard. She's not moving her arms. Because if you, were mo if you move your arms, if you move your shoulder, She's just trying to move her hands. She's not moving her arms or anything like that. She's keeping her hands very still. This would solve the problem of locating the dragon and also solve the vertical aiming issue. However, this wouldn't solve all of the problems, like being able to dodge attacks that don't have sound cues. In one instance, she accidentally hooks onto Alatreon's leg instead of its head and immediately releases before targeting the head again. But there is no audible difference between hooking onto the leg or the head, so there is no way she should have known. You'd think that someone with 4,611 kills on this specific creature would, would know these things, right? In order right? to solve issues like this, I theorized that maybe someone was talking to her and giving her instructions through Discord. With someone in her ear and some aim assist software, you might be able to play like this without sight. I uh, that's, that's not a bad idea, actually. I still maintain my idea that the keyboard inputs 
the keyboard camera and the gameplay are recorded at the same time, whereas the face cam is recorded separately because you can't you can't see your face. Reached in it. out to Monster Hunter World expert TSC, who actually developed the first known aimbot of the game. According to him, if she was using an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than anyone in the community currently possesses. It seems unlikely that this was the method. The most common theory I saw online was that she was using pre-recorded gameplay. Maybe she beat Alatreon earlier and just played that gameplay footage during her live stream. Something yeah. like this has been done before. I even made a video about a speedrunner who cheated by using a pre-recorded run during a live charity marathon. However, I didn't believe That's insane, this was by the, the way. A charity marathon? What? Come on, it's not even that serious. Case. Queen Pones a lot had two cameras and they were both completely in sync. I were they? Were they in sync? Can you tell? Studied her mouse movements and they always seemed to match what was going on in the game. And no, I, I, okay, okay, again. I know I've reiterated this. I think that, yes, the keyboards, camera, and the gameplay was the same. It's, it's in sync, right? It's just the face cam that's different. You could have a monitor to the right of this, this monitor here because it's not caught in the camera. You could have something else going on there. And she's, she's sitting in a position where you, you, you can sit like this, but you could just kind of like look to the right. The entire time. And if you don't move your arms, that's the only thing. If there's like arm movements and it's replicated like completely in sync with the face cam as well, then I I'd definitely be wrong on that. I I'd be willing to take the L. But she's kept her hands so still and the arms so still that she's not like, no, no. No movement is happening whatsoever. And so did her there. keyboard inputs. Her mouse sensitivity was very high, so a lot of movements are hard to see, but I couldn't see any discrepancies. It did appear as though she was actually playing. In my opinion, this also ruled out the idea that someone else was playing instead of her, perhaps by using remote assistance. This is an idea that the YouTuber Abisoft spent some time investigating to see if it could work. But aside from her mouse movements matching her gameplay, latency issues would also be a huge problem. Some people suggested that she was using a magician's blindfold and she could see through it. But this is extremely unlikely. Her blindfold doesn't look like any fake blindfold I could find, and we know what blindfold she has because it was recommended to her. Blindfolded expert Mitris has the exact same one, and it looks exactly the same. One other thing people noticed, and trust me, we noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper up, there was something on it. Oh, wait. Yeah, hold on, the screen looks different. A screen. And Why does the screen look different? Yeah, there's something it on a screen. Like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. Yeah, that that was weird. You could see it was like a menu or something. I pause it. What is Yeah, what is that? What is this thing? Just like below my face. You see I'm just like circling the mouse around it. What is that? It's on the screen? I guess it could be like the start menu. Maybe it's the window start menu. And what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on screen. This is the Windows Start menu. It is the Windows Start menu, okay. And the reason it appeared is because she hit the Windows key. In fact, she yeah. hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. This bugged the hell out of us, and we had no idea why she was doing it. Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? At seemingly random times, she would hit the Windows key, which would tap her out of the game. This caused her inputs to stop working. She would then need to hit the escape key to try and get back into the game. Watch this clip where she hits the Windows key and then spends 10 seconds trying to get the game to work again. Wait, did she say anything this entire time? Well, hold on. Okay, there might be some, like, synced up arm movement there, right? Oh, okay. It did It did look synced up. It did look synced up, so I'm not sure about my initial bet now. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's right anymore. This is bizarre, and she does this multiple times without ever mentioning it. She acts as if this really weird thing that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of unrelated tech issue that she was having with her eye tracker. Multiple times before she even started her blindfolded attempts, we can see her hitting the Windows key in order to fix something. She even mentioned it earlier in her stream. We needed to fix the Toby.
I think this tech issue has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blindfolded and couldn't see, but knew there was some kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she did- Right, so we're back on the maybe there is some kind of way that she was seeing bandwagon now, right? Huh? All of this without looking and without okay. saying anything to her audience. It's all really bizarre. In the end, however, after discovering the truth, I realized this was a giant red herring. I Oh, re oh, a red ha Ooh, maybe a way to get people off the trail? After several days of brainstorming, I was beginning to run out of ideas. But then, in the middle of the night, I revisited a question I had from day one. There was something that Queen Pones a lot did that was really strange, and I couldn't figure it out. Immediately after she covers her main monitor with paper, while she is attempting to distract her viewers, she holds down her left mouse button for 10 seconds. This was actually one of the very first things I noticed when investigating her run, but I never had an answer as to why she did it. Normally, when you hold a button down for a few seconds, it activates something. And this was one of the reasons I thought she was using some kind of software. But I had overlooked something that was so obvious and so simple, I can't believe I didn't see it immediately. No, it's okay. I mean, I have absolutely no idea what it could be either. I, I, I'm genuinely mind boggled here. My one idea has been gonna ha kind of blown out of the water just by like a little arm movement. So I, I got Once nothing left. Once I understood left. what she was doing, it was game over. Holding oh, okay, her mouse here we go. button down for 10 seconds told me everything I needed to know. It okay. unlocked all of her secrets. It all right, revealed here we go. to me that there was in fact a third hidden monitor. Ooh. Does it swap monitors? Queen Does times it, a lot. Once I, I knew I thought there could be to the right because the camera angle doesn't show anything to the right of that monitor. Just to believe that she only has two monitors. When she covers them up, she makes sure to verbally state that her monitor on the left has all of her other stuff on it. To the main attraction as we get our duct tape for our main monitor because yeah. There's the other one. So you guys know. There it is, with all my other stuff on it, boom. This is a lie. In truth, she has a third monitor to her right, off camera, before she covers it with- Because gamers, real gamers and real streamers have at least three monitors. I seriously get this so much whenever I add a new monitor. Well, I started with one, I thought one's enough, why, why would I need two? I had two, I'm like, ooh, two's, two's a lot. Wow, that's a lot of space. But what if I had three? I had three and I'm like, three's a lot of space. But what if I had four? I have not added four yet, but maybe one day. Whenever you add more space, you're always like, ooh, but what if there was more, more space? With paper, we can see that her main monitor has her OBS streaming software on it. Th I would say that I believe most most streamers that do it for a job or full time probably have three monitors. There's a lot that just run with two, some crazy folk that just run with one. But if you're doing it as a job, if you're doing it full time, you probably got three. I'd this say. shows her gameplay and it also has her Twitch chat docked into it as well. One thing that struck me as odd is how she decided to wait until her monitors were covered with paper before setting everything up. This makes no logical sense and she even tries to act like this wasn't on purpose. No problem. All right, uh, all right, cool. Now, um, all right. Oh God, I'm sorry, I didn't think this through. I mean, honestly, I would do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just an idiot, I would do that. <laughs> But the reason she did this is because she had to ensure that what she did was hidden from the camera. This is where the beauty of the imp- Oh, yeah, I mean, you really, you really can't see if it's not like in the game. You can just do a game capture on Monster Hunter so it's just showing the game. You won't show what's happening on the rest of the monitor. Her display comes in, because we can still see everything she's doing. But it's obvious she is trying to hide it. What she does next is- Wait, she's looking to the right. Look, look at that. She's looking to the right. You can even see like her head is tilted towards the area off screen. <laughs> where there is allegedly no Very monitors. Sneaky. She lifts up the paper on her main monitor, which has her OBS on it. She clicks on her OBS window and holds down the mouse key. Then, while she is holding down the mouse button, she distracts her audience with verbal diarrhea. Where is... That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? Vibes. It's the way that it has to be. Look, look, she's looking to the right. What are you looking at? What's going on? What's going on? What's happening over there? And, uh... 
Next is the key that I should have seen immediately. What is the most common thing you do when you hold down your mouse button? You drag windows. While talking, she drags her OBS to her hidden monitor on the right. We can confirm this with the input display. We can see her hand move it to the right, and she even looks at her hidden monitor on the right when she does this. It's interesting that she didn't set this up before starting the stream and just have things in the position that she would want them to be before she even started streaming today. I feel like that's the kind of preparation that you should probably do while you're not being live streamed. <laughs> I don't know. That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? And it's the way that it has to be. And, uh... She will use her OBS on the hidden monitor to see the game. Immediately after this, she pretends to move the OBS to her left monitor. Alright, uh... Move that over, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you she can't really tell if it's there or not. To the left. She looks to the left, and she even says that she's moving something. However, we can see on the input display, she doesn't no even click her mouse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's really silly. That's really funny. <laughs> Why would you have the input detector on before you started the run? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Move that over. She doesn't, yeah. she didn't move anything and there's no clicks. But despite the fact her monitor on the right is supposed to be a secret, she cannot help but stare at it constantly. Yeah, she she's even looking at a lot. She to this exact message in chat while looking at it. However, I would 1000% upload your run, including this whole setup you just did entirely unedited, but that's probably already been for told. For sentence she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. Alright. Oh yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't know if you just come up with that yourself, right? Saying everything will be unedited and saying like, like agreeing. You read the comment and you say, yes, you like you agree with the comments and then follow up with specific words from a comment that you allegedly can't even see. After panicking and thinking for 10 seconds, she tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. Oh yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. It would be really cool if this one was real though, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be really cool if it was? Unedited. The funny thing about Queen Pongelot reading chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no need to have chat there in the first place, and it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. And it Yeah, chat does- this is what we call streamer brain. We call this uh, content brain, streamer brain, Twitch brain, where it's, it's the unending desire to look at chat all of the time, especially when you see it moving. I don't know how to describe this to someone that hasn't streamed, but if you see the pop, 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 of messages, you, you, your eye just goes to it all the time. Even if you're doing something else, even if you're supposed to be focusing on the game, you're just looking at chat. That's what I do. That's how I feel. Every time the chat's moving fast and there's a lot of messages, like what are people saying, what are people saying, what are people saying? It's the brain worms that we get when we stream for a certain amount of time. Eventually, you're just like, I need to look at it. Because it is everything. The chat is everything. It also causes her to screw up by responding to it. I'm guessing she just couldn't help herself and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. So we know that she has a monitor to her right, but how does she see it? Well, the secret is in how she's wearing her blindfold. She's wearing it very, very loosely. It's barely able to stay on her face, and on top of that, she wears it very high. This is not how you're supposed to wear a blindfold. Anyone who owns a blindfold like this knows you don't wear them loose, you wear them tight. If you wear them loose, light gets in. But I still don't know how you'd be able to see through that. wearing her blindfold loose, she can see through a small gap between her nose and the blindfold. The gamer Juzzy has already replicated her exact setup. In his case, he showed his two monitors which he turned off, he wore a proper blindfold, he used the exact same input display, and he had a hand cam. With all of this, oh, he wow. also killed Alatreon in expert fashion. Wow, really? Damn. Impressive. That's impressive stuff. Yeah, he did the exact same thing. The exact same setup. Here, with, he with the same tracker. how he did it. As you can see now, my monitors are off and I'm blindfolded. But um, 
Despite my short sightedness without glasses, I can clearly see these targets and shoot at them. And ah, okay. why is that? It's because there's a secret here. Right now, I'm wearing the blindfold, right? But I can see out the gaps between my nose and my blindfold. And if I wore it even looser, I'd be able to see out the sides left and right in my peripheral vision. Then the next step to the trick is the fact that another thing you guys noticed, there's two monitors here, right? But they're not the only ones. And the third oh, yeah, there is. I knew, I knew there was another monitor. I freaking knew there was. On top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, Queen- She also scrunches up her face, which pushes pushes her cheeks out to increase the size of the gap. Oh, yeah. yeah it's it's kind of- Oh, man. Queen pones a lot, also yeah. sits back in her chair, and looks up in an unnatural way. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This is because while her blindfold was partially obscuring her sight, she could see straight through it and was looking at the monitor directly in front of her. With the new blindfold, she can't see through the front of it, which is why she has now completely changed her sitting position so she can see down and to the side. This is not a normal way to sit. And well, yeah, I mean, her, her head is kind of angled in a way that would have you look toward her right. So if there was a gap, in between where where the, the little eye parts are, you could you could kind of look down and to the right toward the monitor. That Fox is the blindfold speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position, it's a giant red flag. And uh, if I curve up even more, but that's already looking very sus. I guess if you if you sit there like your neck breaking, uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see half of my monitor um i can i can see obs right now literally i can see the volume meters going up i can see the picture if i turn a bit i can see the other monitor and it's as simple as that. There is a hidden monitor on the right, and she is playing through her OBS, which she discreetly moved to it. I can't- Now, it's more simple than we could have imagined. I believe I spent so much time researching aimbots when the solution was so stupidly basic. And while it's so easy just to say there was a hidden monitor, which some people did, it's an entirely different story to provide concrete evidence. The fact that we can literally see her move OBS to the hidden screen, the fact that she reads chat from it, the the fact that she stares at it. I wonder what she would say is in that direction that she looked at immediately and, and looked at and glanced at towards so much. Like, what could it be? What could it be? A shelf with, with some cute plushies on, actually? Constantly. The fact that she wears her blindfold so loosely and the fact that she sits in such a weird position all prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is the way she cheated. But here is my favorite part. After she has killed Alatreon and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. And <laughs> yeah, you can just see it there as well. All of this, the simple fact remains, the way she played the game is impossible to do if you can't see. Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, this entire thing isn't a big deal. This is yeah, just silly, fun internet drama and and that's that's why I like about this is that you, we can see people cheating. Like it's it's the kind of thing where it's like why would you lie about this? It's not really it's a, it's not a big deal. You can just not do it blindfolded or just admit that you're wrong. Like, yeah, I lied. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted people to like me a lot. And then we'd be like, that was cringe. And then we would move on. And the, to double down is like silly. And it's fun to watch how things are uncovered. And it's fun to watch people double down. It's fun to be, watch people cope with the, the fact that they're being exposed for a little lie. It's not like a career ending thing. It's not like a, oh my God, we should all, it's cancel over party now. It's just like, that was cringe. Why'd you do that? You could probably come back from that. Just don't do a blindfolded speed run again. Really? Be like, hey, I'm sorry I did this. Won't be doing blindfolded speedruns again. Just gonna move on to other things now. And it's just really interesting to learn how Queen Ponzalot faked her blindfold runs. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game fraudsters because I enjoy it. This whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. 
But make no mistake, her behavior is not healthy, and it's not a good thing. There are gamers who spend thousands of hours legitimately trying to do amazing things without the ability to see. Blindfolded gaming takes a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot of ingenuity, and Queen Pones a lot keeps taking a giant steaming dump on all of their efforts. Because of her actions, people are going to trust the accomplishments of real gamers even less. Yeah, everything is going to come with an asterisk now. It's going to come with a, oh, but what if you did this? It's going to come with the, oh, do you have another monitor? It's going to come with a, oh, could you see through the blindfold the entire time? Because once your trust is broken, it's so hard to rebuild. Skepticism will disproportionately rise, and the public will become even more cynical. But on the flip side, maybe that's a good thing. The amount of people who threw common sense to the wayside and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical, and maybe this lesson was an important one to learn. Let me know what you think in the comments. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this video, including the YouTuber Abisoft, who is also releasing a video about this most recent run. I know for a fact he is including many details I haven't mentioned myself, so if you want to learn even more, please go and check out his video as well. The link Yes, please check out the video from Abisoft, who is linked right here down in the description. You can go and check them out. I'll also leave their video linked in the description if you'd like to see that as well. Uh, but another fantastic video from Carl. I, I just think this is fun. It's a little goofy. It's not super high stakes or anything like that. It's just interesting to see the, the psychological aspect of do you lie? Like, why are you lying? How did this happen in the first place? It's just interesting to watch. And I think that you'll find it interesting too. So you'll find all the other videos from Carl very interesting. And I should highly recommend a subscription over on his channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my dumb face, you can always subscribe here as well.